Unraveling the Shout of Frustration, a guide to expressive English. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive deep into the fascinating world of the English language. Today, we're going to explore a very expressive phrase that you might have heard or felt the urge to use yourself. Shout of frustration. It's a vivid expression that captures a common human emotion, and understanding it can really help in both your English comprehension and expression. So, let's get into it and unlock the secrets behind this powerful phrase. A shout of frustration is more than just ordinary words put together. It's an expression that vividly paints a picture of a person reacting to a situation that is causing them annoyance, anger, or distress. Imagine working hard on a puzzle and finding that the last piece is missing, or trying to explain something important when no one seems to understand. That moment when you might yell, not at someone directly, but out of sheer exasperation, that's what we call a shout of frustration. It's a release of emotional tension, a vocal expression of one's inability to achieve a goal or overcome an obstacle. Understanding when and how to use this phrase can add depth to your communication skills. Shout of frustration is typically used in a narrative or descriptive context when you're sharing an experience or telling a story about a moment of high emotion. It's not necessarily a phrase you'd use directly at someone in conversation, but rather one you'd use to describe a situation or feeling to others. For example, after hours of trying to fix the computer, John let out a loud shout of frustration, perfectly captures the scene and John's emotional state without needing to explain every detail. Let's look at a few examples to see how this phrase can be seamlessly integrated into English communication. Hearing the news of the flight cancellation, she couldn't help but let out a shout of frustration, realizing all her plans were now in disarray. The continuous errors in the report caused him to emit a shout of frustration, echoing through the otherwise silent office. At the end of the game, the player's shout of frustration could be heard by fans, a clear sign of the high stakes and the tension of the moment. These examples illustrate how the phrase can be used to convey a strong emotional reaction in various situations, adding color and depth to storytelling and communication. Understanding expressions like, shout of frustration, is crucial for anyone learning English, as it not only helps in understanding the emotional context behind conversations but also enriches your own ability to express feelings accurately. We hope this video has shed some light on this expressive phrase and that you'll feel more comfortable using it in your English conversations and writings. Remember, Learning a language is also about capturing the emotions and experiences it conveys. Thank you for watching, and we hope to see you in our next video.